Broken dreams, broken promises, broken families and careers, broken joy. Shards of glass there at our feet. Who doesn't know brokenness? To smile thinly and say you're fine when you're not, when you're absolutely sort of faint with pain. There isn't one of us who isn't wearing the wounds from the bloody battles we fought. How are we to live our one broken life. The bigger question on learning is this. Can we learn to live unafraid of broken things? Especially if that broken thing is us. If it were possible, would we be willing to walk that path? If we knew what it would cost us, would we sign up for the broken way? The broken way is an offering, a sojourn, a grand what if. It's an invitation to sit with a thought, namely that this radical, unbelievable promise that all things are being worked together for good is actually being kept by God, even when all you're holding are the broken shards of what used to be. Those broken things, those broken hearts and souls are, are being made into something beautiful. They're being awakened to outright abundance. Seeds broken, wheat now grown. You don't have to be afraid of broken things because Christ is redeeming everything. This is God's broken promise. This is your dare to the broken way to abundant life. There's no other way but a broken way.